2016 Chevy Tahoe 5.3 liter engine customer complaint of engine ticking noise. Can you hear it? Definitely sounds louder on the driver's side. Sounds like a valve train issue to me. It's about it's about valve and camshaft speed. Tick, 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 tick. The noise changes with engine speed, so we've we've got a, a mechanical engine mechanical problem here. And it's nasty too, so I would suspect valve train issue. The fact that it's not misfiring, I already checked misfire data, there's no misfire history, nothing to indicate which cylinder it is, but it does sound like it's on the driver's side. It does sound like it's on the driver's side, it does sound like a valve train issue, and uh, I think I'm probably gonna have to just take off that valve cover and take a look. Most likely, we've got a flat cam lobe or a faulty rocker arm or something, you know what I mean? because the fact that it's not completely misfiring and just running like crap it tells me that the lifters are at least working. The lifters are doing something, so it's not really a typical broken lifter with a bent push rod kind of thing. It's a, it's a whatever this is, right? So this requires further investigation. So I'll kick up the engine RPM and the noise does change. Boy, that sounds nasty. Okay, back to idle, grab my stethoscope, got this mechanic stethoscope here that I'm going to use to hone in on the on noise, take that off and then I can just listen. Check for any leaky injector seals because it might sound about the same. Definitely loudest about right here. Oh yeah, you can hear it right in that hole. Well, it's moving, so that's a good sign. But that the noise seems to sync up perfectly with that cylinder one rocker arm. Hold on. Okay, we'll grab the screwdriver. Gently. It's not changing. So I was hoping that I could take up the slack with the screwdriver, but I can actually I can actually feel it in the screwdriver, so I think it is that cylinder one. So what I would suspect, what I would suspect is that that rocker, either the rocker bolt is loose, the rocker needle bearings have failed, or we've got a flat spot on the camshaft that needs repair. I guess we're gonna take off this valve cover and find out. Anyways. This has actually already been diagnosed by another shop and they told the guy that it needs an engine and maybe it does, you know? If it's got over 100,000 miles and it needs a camshaft, maybe we will recommend an engine simply because you get a much better warranty that way. If it was my car, I would probably put a, put a camshaft in it, you know? But since it's a customer vehicle and I have to warranty it for basically forever, probably gonna, you know, recommend an engine. I, I understand why people recommend an engine in that situation. At the same time, I worked on a lot of these and if I find that the engine's been very well taken care of, maybe we can patch it up. Maybe we can fix it. You know what I mean? Take those off. Let them hang. And then uh, I just gotta get this, you know, get the bolts out of here and then it's coming out of here. Also, it's a good idea to blow all the debris out of here. Before you do this, before you remove this, because uh, there's only one place it's going to go. It's going to fall inside the engine. Look at all that.
much better. I left home today too, and I was like, oh, I won't need my camera mount. I won't need my tripod. This was actually a walk-in. This was not a scheduled vehicle, so this one was not expected. Okay, just gotta get that one bolt there for the dipstick and then get all the valve cover bolts and then I just leave the coils attached. And of course, I got that last bolt way back there. Light is like washing out. I got way too much light here. Gonna ruin the gasket so I can't reuse it. a different light that doesn't wash out so much so I do actually see the problem I don't need to run it any further because I've already can see it but can I get it on the camera right there on that sonar one rocker right here there's a bent push rod bent push rod and it's surprisingly still operating it's still moving so do we have a lifter failure to go along with this most likely straight on there, it's gonna strip out. see down there but it is crooked looking and it's you know typical typical GM lifter failure these things have been failing left and right uh, we actually did probably three of them in the last month maybe four so they fail so often I actually have, I have a couple from the last job this one was was the crooked this one I think was just failing to operate completely this one, as you can see, is actually jammed. It's stuck down. So this was a complete misfire. It wasn't, you know, that valve wasn't moving at all. This one wasn't moving at all for another reason because the pin, the little locking pin's broken. So looking like I'm gonna write this one up for a lifter job. 
So when I write it up for lifter replacement, um, I'm gonna do both sides because this engine has had so many problems with parts supplier issues, faulty, faulty lifters right out of the box. We just did one and the guy had to replace it three times. He had an immediate problem right when he started it and it was a parts quality issue. And I told him, hey, that's just part of the territory when you work on this. So I guess I'm gonna write this up for a quote and you might get a lifter video out of this, don't know.